All right, welcome back. We are researching recipes. Right, it's an alchemy game. Got to alchemy. Right. I, I think I mentioned that it's a little grindy, or at least it was in the old games. I imagine that hasn't changed as it was a core component of the game. I guess I always found it kind of cathartic to just sit there and make stuff for an indeterminate period of time. I suppose. Uh, I will say I've never filled out the alchemy like recipe book completely for any of these games. Like, I know it can be done, but I know it's not necessary for the, like, main game. And I usually... Larceny! <laughs> Uh, vandalism, a little bit. I took things. I suppose. I well, wonder if that's the benefit to actually running around town on your footsies. Maybe. Is is finding random, like, loot drops in town. Ah, oh, man, you get around. Wait. No, that's a different one. He, he said his name was Family Man. Okay. I mean, it could be the same one, and maybe maybe something has happened since the last time we talked to him. I suppose. I mean, that could be fun. Alright, well, let's go to the nearby forest and wander around. Punch, kick, and shoot stuff until you have enough ingredients to make stuff. Figure out how to make stuff. Okay. I mean, that was the instruction from your uh, teacher was, you know, craft stuff, get money. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta do alchemy like it's your job. It is our job. Exactly. <laughs> I did not collect any apples, no matter what you saw from. <laughs> I mean, those spiky looking things, maybe they're apple-like. I don't have the thing to collect that, so that's neat. Maybe it's fishing? Maybe. Or maybe you just need a, a pail to bring water in. Alright, you. Oh, there's more of you than I thought. <laughs> I mean, slimes divide. I'll give them that. Ouch. Can't be too mad that there's more slimes, though. I mean, look at how cute they are. That's true. They're cute. Kicking my butt, too. They are doing a bit more damage than the last time you fought Quick, them. Quick, use an uni bag. I figured out how to put them in my inventory. <laughs> wow. Sock full of bricks. Go! Sock full of bricks. Oh! I bet that counts as, like, magical damage as opposed to physical. And it's a slime, so... You know. Yeah, now whatever's whatever's doing, it's working. Magic damage is the way to go with the slimes. Bang bang. Yeah. Like shooting a jello mold. Yeah. Alright, well, heck with it. Ooh, I mean, if it, was, if it was one slime, you probably would have been fine, you know, just whittling it down, but... Well, sure. For for a group like that, yeah. Just throw the contents of your purse at it, I guess. I think I learned a thing. Recipe for craft was added. Oh, neat. What's that mean? Uh, uh. Okay, get beehives, alright. How do I actually learn? <laughs> uh, L and R has changed tab. Let's see if there's something on. Oh wait, do you have to level up each of their alchemies separate? Yeah, they got different books. Oh wow. I mean, I recognize that there's two of them. There's two protagonists, and that they're both alchemists. But I guess it didn't occur to me that they might actually make you level them up separately. Mm. Okay, so how do I use an item? Uh...
Yeah, that's not as intuitive as I would have hoped. Uh, I would think that it would have been in that menu somewhere, but... Wait, go back in that menu. I mean, there's got to be a way to get at it. I would think it'd be in your basket. Oh, oh there, there we go. Hooray! I can use bandages. With their extra small healing. I like to think they are just like, you know, regular like Hello Kitty band-aids or something. Oh please, like we have enough money for a licensed character. <laughs> okay, maybe like off-brand Hello Kitty, like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> good afternoon, Axolotl. There you go. <laughs> it's the generic brand. It's like the it's like the Costco brand. <laughs> Kirkland, Kirkland brand. Uh, good afternoon, Axolotl bandages. Okay, that would actually be pretty cute. I'm picturing like an Axolotl with like a band-aid on its little nose bit. Oh yeah. Kick the rock to death. I'm just keeping an eye on that mushroom over there, and wondering if it's gonna, like, catch wise to what you're doing. Oh, yeah. I think it did right then, <laughs> but then you ducked around the corner. So I can't help but notice it's raining, and I have to wonder if that does anything, or if it's just, you know, part of the scenery. It's a good question. You know, like, how day and night probably affects stuff, but not in a way that we've been able to discern. Because we always go out at night, so we don't have anything to compare it to. <laughs> yeah. Because daytime is for alchemy, <laughs> apparently. Apparently. Hello. Oh. Alright. Okay, so, we don't have a butterfly net or anything. Well, we found some things, and did some things. <laughs> some things found us. Yeah. Oh no! Ow. Sweet little gum traps. Yeah. Ow. How dare you. So I guess Puny Press is like a special attack, because most of the time it just rolls on you. Yep. Oh, did you ever play a game called Master of the Monster Maze? It was for the 3DS, I think? No. Uh, it was an Atlas game, and uh, you actually got to have a slime as a like pet slash second character. Oh, neat. It was very cool. They did another game in the same, like, universe, uh, called My World, My Way, where you were a princess that decided to go adventuring because it sounded cool, and mm. they wanted to be cool. And, uh, they ended up with, uh, a pink slime that, uh, ended up getting abilities based on, like, what it fought. Oh, neat. Yeah. Both of them were really clever. And, uh, the princess gal's parents ended up hiring that engineering company from the first game to build dungeons for them uh, so that she would be at an appropriately leveled dungeon all the time because they didn't want their daughter to go out and get like killed by some dark overfiend okay so we had to go home to learn recipes oh okay well I mean I guess it's like a wizard spell book it probably takes like 500 gold coins in like two hours oh uh, sure you know like you probably have to be at your alchemy table to sit down and properly do alchemy table. Oh, it's in our book, but we can't make it. That's because we don't have enough of the materials. But our alchemy level is too low as well. Oh, for We're going to have to pump out some low-level stuff first. So you've got puny liquid, and you've got water from the well. <laughs> okay, so... 
that goes there. The water goes there. And that goes wherever. It doesn't happen to be the right color for that weird uh, match puzzle, so yeah. Blue neutralizer. Hooray! Make sure to swap out your uh, your alchemists. You gotta level both of them. Do I have to swap them out? Well, I would think so. I mean, they had their own recipe books, right? I think those are just pages. Oh. So, I just realized what that is. What's that? Or at least what it's supposed to look like. Uh, it looks like a sea urchin. Oh, yeah. And... I don't remember what the word for sea urchin is, but I remember the word for uh, sea urchin sushi, and it's uni. So, if I had to guess, I think, I think uni is sea urchin. That makes sense. And so it's a pointy bag. It's it's a sea urchin bag, yeah. It's, it's a bag of spikes. I don't know why you've been getting them out of trees, though. I'm assuming it's some kind of fruit or nut that looks like one. That makes sense. Rather than sea critter living up in the trees. <laughs> but, you know, it's a weird magic world. Maybe I'm just thinking too much into it. Probably. But, uh... Yeah, components, sharp thorns, or thorny. Oh, so they have, like, apply poison and stuff. Yeah. So, like, poison sea urchin fruit. <laughs> okay, so it's two of the uni and then a thing of honey to make it sticky, I guess? I guess. To hold it together. What if I set one of these on the table? <laughs> like, the first one you made got set on the, like, kitchen counter. Like, hey, look at this, splort. Yep. That's never coming out. Nope. It's, uh, it's like when our friend was, uh, building models and he accidentally glued the bottle and a bunch of papers to our coffee table. <laughs> and, like, no matter how much we scraped and peeled and sanded there was still a small amount of, like, paper remnant stuck to that table. Short of, like, short of, like, sanding it down and refinishing the table. That was just sort of a permanent part of it. Yep. But no, I mean, that sort of casual disregard for what you're making... Might be why you don't get a whole lot of alchemy drops. Maybe. Here's your thing! Like, I can see you bringing bandages to the black stuff and setting it on, like, you know, the quenching table and it, like, bursts into flames. Whoopsie oh, sorry. doodle! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Ah, uh, okay. Aha! Oh, you can rotate it. Okay. I hope that's not a problem. I think it just means that you have read the green spot, so you might not get the bonus for it. Cauldron cracks, everything goes horribly <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Oh, those are pretty so, good bandages. HP, add regen, recovery bonus. I mean, I guess it's still D rank, but... Yeah, well. I mean... More importantly, I leveled up my alchemy. I was gonna say, you gotta... You gotta level alchemy your... level is still too low. For that. But some of the other stuff that it said that for is uh, not the case anymore. Yeah. Like, you can make honey now out of those beehives. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, run through the rest of my recipes here real quick. And we will meet you back here on Endless Mode. Alright, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll catch you later.